The Morning Office for July 11th I will call upon God, and the Lord will deliver me. In the evening, in the morning, and at noonday, I will complain and lament, and He will hear my voice. He will bring me safely back. God, who is enthroned of old, will hear me. O God of hosts, show us the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. What terror you inspire! Who can stand before you when you are angry, O Lord? Our God is in the heavens. Whatever he wills to do, he does. The morning reading is taken from Mark's Gospel, chapter 13, verses 28 through 32. The word of the Lord taught us, saying, Take the fig tree as a parable. As soon as its twigs grow, supple and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. So with you, when you see these things happening, know that he is near, right at the gates. In truth I tell you solemnly, before this generation has passed away, all these things will have taken place. Sky and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But as for that day or hour, nobody knows it, neither the angels of heaven nor the Son, no one but the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our God is in the heavens. Whatever he wills to do, he does. The morning psalm is taken from Psalms, chapter 33, verses 6 through 11. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, by the breath of his mouth all the heavenly hosts. He gathers up the waters of the ocean as in a water skin, and stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, let all who dwell in the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, and it came to pass. He commanded, and it stood fast. The Lord brings the will of the nations to naught. He thwarts the designs of the peoples. But the Lord will stand fast forever in the designs of his heart from age to age. The word of the Lord. Our God is in the heavens. Whatever he wills to do, he does. O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, mercifully receive the prayers of your servant who calls upon you, and grant that I may know and understand what things I ought to do, and that I also may have the grace and power faithfully to accomplish them. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord God Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ my Lord. Amen.